Hello, and welcome to the R.D. Milnes Antiquities Museum at the University of Queensland and the exhibition A Study in Stone. Greek and Roman inscriptions offer an unparalleled insight into the lives of everyday people in the ancient world. In this series of short videos, we're exploring some of the stories from the exhibition. In this video, we're having a look at the tombstone of a young Roman girl named Vitalinus, one of the museum's most interesting and emotive artefacts. Vitalinus's parents, described as most devoted, set up this memorial for their daughter, who lived, as it says, eight years, eleven months, and three days. The precise statement of a person's age, even down to the day, is fairly common on Latin burial inscriptions. As well as the dedicatory inscription, this tombstone also has a depiction of the goddess Diana, the Roman equivalent of the Greek Artemis and goddess of hunting. You can clearly see her bow and hunting dog. In myth, Diana was also a protector of children, and like the god Mercury, led the souls of the dead by safe passage to the underworld. A study in stone explores the history of classical inscriptions, and one of the best sources of epigraphic material comes from Columbaria, group tombs where cremated remains would be placed inside niches. The inscription of Vitalinus is an example of a stone cover, which would have originally been used to close up a burial niche. The picture behind her in the exhibition is a drawing by the famous architect Piranesi of the ruins of a columbarium that once housed the remains of the slaves and ex-slaves of the household of the Emperor Augustus. Although Vitalinus was probably buried in a much less grand columbarium, the elegant vaulting of the image complements well the shape of Vitalinus's tombstone. To find out more about Vitalinus, and to explore many other stories from Roman columbarium inscriptions, visit a study in stone at the Ardea Milnes Antiquities Museum.